All right, 446, your time as we now touch base with meteorologist Clay Smith. Clay, I did see a little of that rain. I'm sure it didn't help the drought, but it helped the grass, right? Yeah, I mean, it was it was nice to have. It's not going to help the drought a ton, but, you know, any drop that we can get, especially after a very dry October, is going to be something that we're certainly thankful about. So here's a look at your weather headlines. Going to be a little bit of patchy fog on your way out on this Monday morning. Going to be overall another warm October week. So temperatures are going to be above normal, and we'll have some late week rain chances Thursday night into Friday. But most of that rain should hold off for any of your Halloween festivities that are going to be going on on Thursday. Here's a look at your visibility. Things are looking good across North Georgia, but that fog thickening up across the Cumberland Plateau, back across the Northern Valley and into parts of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So more than likely as you're traveling out, you're going to run in and out of some fog on this Monday morning. So you might want to give yourself extra five, 10 minutes heading out the door just to make sure you're arriving safely. Here's a look at Lake Gunnersville down in South or North Alabama in Jackson County. You can see no one out just yet, but there is a little bit of fog out there. As for your temperatures, mid 50s pretty much across the board from Chattanooga to Blue Ridge, Athens, Dayton at 57. So it's a mild morning. And as we get into your afternoon, temperatures going to be in the low to mid 70s, reaching 74 in Dayton, 72 in Cleveland, 77 in Teleco Plains, 73 in Murphy. We'll have 70 in Chatsworth and Dalton, 71 in Henniger, and 75 in Bridgeport. So it's going to be warm today. And that's going to be the story of the week. October warmth is going to be the next big thing. And for today, here's a look at your setup. We're not necessarily going to have record temperatures, but we're still going to be in the 70s, our average high in the lower 70s, so pretty close to that mark. But just off to our west, record high temperatures are going to be possible in the parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and up into uh, parts of Minnesota as well. We're looking at temperatures 20 degrees above normal. So it's not just us that's been dealing with this October warmth. It's a pretty good chunk of the lower 48, and that's a trend that's going to continue over the next six to 10 days, which takes us into the first you know, couple of days of November, if you can believe that. So overall, we're not going to have any major surges of cool air. In fact, we're going to be in the mid to upper 70s through Thursday, a little bit cooler Friday, and then right back into the mid to upper 70s for your weekend. So again, not going to have any shots of that Arctic air that sometimes we can get late in October. And as for your satellite radar, all is calm here across much of the Tennessee Valley. But we're going to put this future cast into fast forward because it's going to be pretty quiet over the next couple of days. So we'll pick up on Halloween morning, which of course is Thursday. We'll have a lot of cloud cover. And again, this week is going to feature a lot more cloud cover than last week. And here comes that front. It looks like a lot of the rain's going to hold off to our west uh, throughout much of Halloween day. You can see 830 most of that is just off to the west of Chattanooga and then overnight we'll have some of those showers. So as you're getting out to trick or treat or whatever you may be doing on Halloween night, it looks like most of that rain's going to hold off unless this front was to speed up a little bit more. And then as we get into your Friday morning into the afternoon, that looks to be our best chance of some rain. And then this front passes to our south and we gradually dry out as we head into your weekend. So potential rainfall over the next seven days. A lot of the active weather going to be just off to our west, but we're still going to have that potential for maybe up to a quarter of an inch late Thursday into Friday. And again, we'll take what we can get because we're still dealing with this moderate drought, even severe drought just north of Dayton. So it's been dry, not going to be the driest month on record, but we are now in that number two spot. So it could be the second driest October on record as we did pick up a tenth of an inch officially at the Chattanooga Airport uh, this past Saturday. So we needed the rain. We got a little bit. Not necessarily, again, going to be the driest October, but it's still number two. That's that's pretty impressive stuff. And as for your next seven days, we're going to keep it sunny for your Tuesday. Cloud cover builds in by the middle of the week. Halloween looking pretty good. And then we'll get some more much needed rain going into your Friday, Paul. You know, on a positive note, Clay, last week it's at 81 on Halloween. Now just 79. A little bit cooler. <laughs> a little more fall like, I guess. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Clay.